apparently, according to Audacity, I have space on my hard drive for another 131 hours. Oh, wow. I guess. Ah. Sounds like a challenge. Yeah. I mean, we'll get there. And then I'll buy a new laptop, because you can't delete files. That's not never, how computers work. Never, never. <laughs> Forever, never, then. Never, 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 never. Near, near. Is this going to be another we just say weird sounds all in a row episode? Because I sure hope so. <laughs> I love I, it. I'm pretty fried, <laughs> I gotta admit. This is the episode with no take backs. Welcome to an extra smooth episode <laughs> of the Proud Jacuzzi Crew. My name's Dane. My name is Brian. My uh, name is Jimmy. And we're a couple of smoothies soaking in a tub. Like butter. Uh, like butter in a hot tub. Melted. Um, oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah. oh. Wetness. <laughs> Bubbles. Bubbles. Moisture. A little bit of pee. Because you can't help it. It's it's science. It's chemistry. It's chemistry. It's important to the mixture. You do what you can when you're slightly incontinent. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. They don't allow diapers in the tub. This uh, this episode is, uh, is going to be a hard bop kind of a situation. <laughs> what? Um, so uh, we here in the Proud Jacuzzi crew, we, we do Would You Rathers. And we do them super smooth. We, uh, we also do... Mary fuck kills and them lonely, lonely hearts. But I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh, rage on, cat daddy! Yeah. Where did you get that musical instrument in this tub? A saxophone just sounds a little better when it's got a bunch of nasty hot tub <laughs> when, water in it. <laughs> when it's a saxophone, sounds so much better when it's a bass guitar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gross! Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> um. So let's uh let's get this smooth train a rolling down oh, that yeah. smooth smooth track. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, and let's give a little shout out to one Stephanie in Berkeley because her would you rather's have been keeping this train a chug. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, again, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um. So she asks, would you rather never have a nightmare again, or always be able to lucid dream? Yeah, lucid dreaming. Being able yeah. to control your dreams. I would, you're right. Being aware that you are dreaming and being able but to... But then you can control everything. That'd be amazing. I've always yeah. wanted to lucid dream, but it's it's a it's a lot of work, and I don't... I'm lazy. <laughs> In high school, yeah. I tried. I, I read a book, and I did practices, and I and I was able to do it once. When I was younger, and... and uh... I, I, everything, everything shinier and slightly moister. Um, I, yeah, I, I tried uh, to lucid dream, and I cared a lot more about my dreams in general. Um, I, <laughs> these I'm, days, not so much. Huh? These days, I'm mean, just too busy. You know, I've got yeah. blogs to follow, and sure. uh, I read a lot of web comics, <laughs> so I don't have time for dreams. T- tumblers to read tumble. You know, I mean, it's it's fine. I eat a lot of mac and cheese. Good. Yeah. It takes up your time. It takes up my time. Um, yeah. So not a lot of time for dreams. So yeah, I just do like, you have time for nightmares? I have semi lucid dreams sometimes where it's kind of like, oh, this is probably a dream, but whatever, do do do, and that's basically about as, like as much control as I get over. It. Yeah, <laughs> um, we're just like probably a dream. I'm still going with it. But the funny thing is, like by the same token, um, I used to have like a shitload of nightmares, um, and I don't really have nightmares anymore. It's just like my dreams have become very mundane. Yeah, yeah, very much like you, Dane. Mundane. Ah, yeah. that's only on Mondays. Yeah, my mundane. I hate. Them. I hate mundanes. Lasagna. <laughs> oh. um, no, I. So I, when I was a kid, I had night terrors. Oh my oh. gosh! And if people aren't familiar with that, that's like a waking nightmare where you are so deep in the nightmare that even when you're awake, you like 
see it happening Jeez, around you. There's like no escaping. Yeah. Yeah, and instead of just being asleep, you're like thrashing around and screaming and crying. Mm. So yeah, my folks were uh, <laughs> super, pretty worried. Super stoked on it. Yeah. <laughs> those poor people. <laughs> um, those went away. Um, but yeah, night terrors were real. Mm. Um, I haven't had a night terror in probably 20 years, so... I hear that's pretty common, like, you, you age out of them. Yeah. yeah. And for that token, nightmares either. Like, I don't remember the last time I woke up in a cold sweat let me, or anything. Let me ask you guys a, a basic dream question. How yeah. often do you remember, just in a general sense, your dreams? Three out of five. Very rarely. Because, like, so for me, uh, I don't know if this is everyone's experience. Probably not. I feel like it's a little strange. If I if I sleep through the night all the way, uh, I don't remember my dreams. Uh-huh. But what happens more often than not is like if I'm supposed to wake up around say eight or so, usually I wake up around five or six, go pee and go right back to sleep. Yeah, I remember that chunk of sleeping dreams oh, like near the that end. That is very common actually. If your sleep is interrupted, um, you tend to remember the dream. You, yeah, like yeah, you'll remember the dream with more vividity. If you complete like your sleep, um, cycles, it, it like yeah, it cycles. stays stays exactly. Yeah. It stays submerged. It's so weird. Interesting. Yeah, but it's like I feel like that would it makes more sense if like a, an alarm wakes you up. You know what I mean? Like because mm. you're in the middle, it was right, it was just happening. Yeah. But even after, because I don't, you know, I don't have any alarms to wake up to. So yeah. like, I I'm just waking up about it, normally. <laughs> oh, I am. <laughs> I'm Jimmy. I don't wake up by alarms. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. That's what it sounded like when you just that's spoke. That's how I said it. My name's Jimmy. I sleep in a bed made of marshmallows. <laughs> oh, that would be so sticky. Yeah, that wouldn't be great. Mm. We have an ant problem anyway. I'd eat myself awake. <laughs> there goes another another mattress. Gotta go back to the marshmallow store. Even in, even in those dreams, though, I don't usually have a lot of nightmares. I don't even generally have a I had a bad dream the other night, but it wasn't... It was just weird. It wasn't yeah, even Yeah, it just, wasn't a nightmare. It wasn't scary. <laughs> I wonder if that's something to do with like your your fears becoming a lot more mundane. Like it's not the wolf man or spiders eating your eyeballs out you worry about sure. so much as like running you know, out of money. Not having enough money, not being able to make rent, living on the streets, moving back within your parents, um, being shamed before you, the you know a high court. The opposite of sex. Or or a high court, same diff. Um <laughs> you know Judges. Judges yes, thank you. Judges. <laughs> <laughs> Have I mentioned I hate women? Apparently, um, uh, I, just, I seriously don't. You've been hinting at it a lot. I, I don't. I just, I just so happens Who I are you have trying a, to convince. Brian? I just so happen to have a fedora and a beard on my neck. And you hated the new Ghostbusters. It was for the, reasons that you didn't even see it. It was the worst. The trailer was horrible. <laughs> the end. The end. <laughs> no, but, no, but seriously though, see it. It's awesome. It's an awesome film. It's an awesome film. <laughs> That's what I've heard. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I don't know. I wonder if that's part of it. Like, part of why nightmares kind of go away. Yeah, that's like a good not... theory. I like that. Yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe it'd be good to have nightmares again. Somebody who, who's a dream an analyst <laughs> will be like, yo, listen up. And that's yeah. it. They'll just send an email that says that. <laughs> and then we'll be like, yeah? They won't respond. They're sleeping. They're busy sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think what it comes down to for me is definitely lucid dreaming. Just because nightmares aren't really an issue for me and uh well even if they even if they were i feel like you could turn your lucid dreams into good dream if you were like oh i'm lucid dreaming so this isn't uh, whatever poof but be gone evil yeah, wizard exactly man. huh you well, could you could take care of both yeah yeah i don't know maybe there, is there maybe like an upper limit to lucid dreaming like maybe you can't change everything like, like maybe an a upper nightmares. limit like like sky orgies like like <laughs> really high up Something like that. <laughs> you, you're, uh, in your dreams, you can only think so high off the ground. Well, if I go into space, I'll die. Yeah. Guys, duh. Dreams. Maybe duh. Maybe if you find yourself in like the hell of like burning diarrhea, you can't... <laughs> You can't completely escape it, but you can, like, downgrade it to, like, you know, lukewarm diarrhea. diarrhea. Um, or maybe lukewarm, just soft good stool. Yeah, or just dirt. Just smelly dirt, dirt. up all ends. Warm dirt. That warm might feel dirt. kind of good. Um, Gross. So, so I think, yeah, like, even it, whether nightmares are an issue or not, I think it's probably going to be lucid dreaming for me, because that's yeah. kind of like, almost like having your own holodeck. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, right? right? In the space of your brain. Yeah, brain spaces. How about you, Jim? Yeah, that for sure. Yeah, lucid all around for us boys. Because that would be like, oh, this dream is stupid. My, my, like, bad dreams are all about, like, very, like, like, 
old older people things. Really, it's weird. What is? What do you I, mean? So like running out of like, bag breaks. The or latest running the latest, out of ointment. The latest one that I had was just the other day, and like, <laughs> I was hanging out. It was it was fucking weird. Like it's a dream. It's just fucking weird. But like, of course, I was hanging out with a. Oh fuck! Is her name Maisie Williams from sure. from uh? Oh, from uh, Game of Thrones. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay, I was thinking of somebody. Maisie, it's Maisie something. Maisie, okay. Kil- Maisie Kilmer? I don't know. Uh, Maisie, Game of Thrones. The one who plays is Arya. Great. And she's she is an of age person now, but for some reason she was like quite not there yet. Okay. And she was like, like, sort of like coming on to me, and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh dear. No. But then her father, who is Liam Neeson, uh-huh. ah, who was also naked for some reason. Great. Ah, was like yo dream, and i was like whoa and then like just everyone found out and thought that i was a scumbag oh no and i was like man all these people that used to like me not anymore not anymore because it's something is... that was out of my control i just gotta say i love <laughs> i love that nightmare <laughs> it was quote, weird unquote, nightmare yeah it's just so delightfully weird um i used to get like sort of temptation nightmares like that all the time like the, like the devil is like over your shoulder and you've got a knife in your hand and he's like sacrifice that baby or oh like oh my God. I'll fuck your shit up and it's like I don't want to say it, I don't want to he's like do it do it and like I don't know like you sacrifice the kid in the dream and it's like oh no it, it, it was a test God was <laughs> testing me in my dreams so it still counts because um, I used to be a religious like an idiot um, really I didn't know that I, yeah when I was when oh, I was wow. a young young guy yum yum like, guy a, when I was a yum yum guy <laughs> I needed to be religious because things are tough Things are tough for a yum yum guy. Too I don't know delicious. If you, I don't know if you know that. You so know, yummy. you were just in it for the wine and crackers. Everybody wants to, <laughs> like a, a piece of your ass, literally, because it's delicious. Would all yum yum guys please come to the altar? It's time <laughs> for the sacrament. <laughs> we need your yum 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 yum. Oh boy. Oh. Um, speaking of yum yum and temptation. Oh boy. Some times in our lives, we all have pain. So we go to Craigslist. I think I've already done that. You've yeah. done. You've done. I was oh, like, is this the theme shit. song? Because somebody once <laughs> told me love is kind of stiff, shitty, but needs help to find a love. <laughs> I look kind of like Guy Fieri. Nobody wants me. Could you maybe find a website to fix this? <laughs> Craigslist is a place you go. You make an anonymous <laughs> listing. You Just want st- somebody going. to poop on your butthole, oh. and maybe you've got some other weirder fetish, like having spring beans in your pee hole. Specifically, or, it's lonely hearts, folks. It's lonely hearts. So, yay. If the string, yay. so if the string beans, like, are they going in a uh, open end first? No, so that long you ways. can Sideways. you can pop them out. Nobody knows. <laughs> It's a Craigslist you gotta mystery. Them. You gotta, you gotta respond with a, a special thing in the subject and a pic, a face pic, and that's of, how you find out. A, a pic, a pic of your with people. with a string bean for scale. Yeah, <laughs> this is my face, and this is a string bean. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so let's. Uh, what do we do in this thing? What do we do? We comb through Craigslist looking for the most in need individuals and connecting them with other in need individuals and making love happen. We're like eHarmony, but cheaper. And you get what you pay for. <laughs> and better. And yeah. better? Question mark. You you know, rubrics. More, and more algorithms. Uh, more honest. We've got more heart. We're like the bad news bears of oh, online yeah. dating. Of online. We're all children. Exactly. One couple <laughs> at a time. <laughs> We're all children except for... Um, Billy Bob Thornton. D- except for... Uh, d- fucking that old guy in from uh, Grumpy Rodney, Old Man. Rodney I don't know Dangerfield. Who except for Ronnie Dangerfield. There you go. No, it's Walter Matthau. Thank you. You're Walter welcome. Matthau. My you kids can't play baseball. Get out of here. That's my terrible here. Walter Matthau. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I looked through Craigslist and um, I saw Poor this thing. gentleman. I saw this gentleman who um, I think has very a very specific need to to fill. So oh. I'll, I'll take you right into Those it. Those are the best. Uh, it's entitled. Excuse me. It's entitled "Looking for Someone to Hunt Bigfoot with." <laughs> Mountain View, California. That's very specific. Hi, my name is Joel. I'm fairly new in the area. Here's some pics of me from when I was in better shape. <laughs> it's I should note, he's not in great shape in these pictures. Oh, oh man. He's not in super great shape. Uh, I've 
being sort of sedentary and put on some weight, but I'm still cute. Oh, good. Like a teddy bear. (laughs) That's why I want to go for regular walks in the park with someone and hunt for Bigfoots. (laughs) In the park. I heard In the park, yeah. I heard he was in some place near Los Gatos, but I have another lead near Golden Gate Park. He could have snuck in during the Bluegrass Festival. What the... Really? In all caps. We are not going to shoot him! Unless he talks a lot of shit. Oh, this oh is my a, God, this is a really? joke. We are here to use our mutant powers for good. Does he say this? He says this. I'm looking for more... F- I'm Excuse me. I'm looking more for the happy, smiley, sort of in-shape type of girl for this expedition. But if you're more the dark, gloomy type of girl who likes spankings and her hair pulled, send oh me an email anyway. God, that took a turn. Oh my God. I might have a different type of expedition in mind for you, Winky Smiley. <laughs> Boy. P.S. I'm not meeting anyone who doesn't send pictures. Get the pictures ready first, then send me an email. Thanks. Wow. Yeah. That's pre- that, pretty that demanding was all with over no the bearings. Place. Yeah. Yeah. Hunting Bigfoot. Man, I don't know if he. It's hard to tell. It's if hard that to would... tell if he was joking. Just or trying not. to be funny because it was. Because it it's kind of it's it, pretty weird. In any case, it's creepy. Kind of. Yeah. I'm gonna take this man at his word. Because we have no bearing otherwise. Agreed. So I think that you should take anything you read on the internet seriously at first. I, I, yes, especially like on any Craigslist. any truthers. Right. Or, yeah. Especially them. Yeah. Loose so, change. Check it out. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you, you, like you pen, will. You like will copper. Know. You will know. Copper. Like Loose a hat. Like a half pence. None like the richer. Like a hay penny. Yeah. It's made like out of hay. Like a farthing? Make no, America that's a great again! Oh, oh my god! Oh, that what came under the wire. <laughs> that was super smooth, Brian. <laughs> Way to smooth it out. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, so yeah, Jimmy, what do you got for uh, us? Mine's kind of sad. Oh, oh um, good. Just as a heads up. It's sort of like... It's can a you normal... say it in a really happy way? Uh... We'll see what I can do. Okay, please. Um, it's sort of it's it sound it's sort of a sadness uh, sandwich in by by normalcy. Oh, so, okay. So like two slices of normal with a big slab of sad. Yeah. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, in a very happy tone. <laughs> yeah. Looking for that one woman who who is tired of giving her all to that uh to one that don't appreciate her. I as to wow as to am I. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking for that one woman who is willing to work with her man to build a simple happy life together. I'm very loyal and dedicated to the one I care for, sometimes even to a fault. If interested in knowing more, text, and then he puts a phone number in oh. cryptic Craigslist code. Uh, I am posting this on this date. I have been on Craigslist for three days now, and I have had three different responses to my ad. After uh, conversating... For a while on Craigslist, <laughs> I am asked to do a verification process, which requires my credit card info. I refused, but after the third time, I felt this was a logic request just to ensure the safety of parties involved. Very understandable. Well, after completing the verification, which stated that you will not be charged for verification only, thirty nine ninety five was removed from off my debit card. Oh, uh... Then four ninety nine. Then two dollars. Then one eighty five. I had to call my bank to turn my card off. So FYI, if you are asked to use your credit card info to verify yourself, don't! It's a sham. Yeah, it is. Oh. That was the first paragraph. Second and last paragraph. (laughs) Is there any good uh, woman out there who just wants to find one man that that can and will commit to one woman? Uh, One that gets his butt up every morning and gets out there and (laughs) works? It's small. One that would rather put time in with his woman than a football game or the couch or his buds? Have had any... Did you say bugs? Have... Uh, I think you said a bug's life, the film. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't contradict Everyone's that. favorite movie starring bugs and lives. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Have had any share of bad relationships? Looks not important, but your inner beauty is... <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta have Good. some big Good. titties inside. Inside your brain. <laughs> If you have ever laid awake at nights asking God to send you just one real 
and good person, then you know the feelings of loneliness that drive you to, find, to try oh something God. different. Then in parentheses, Craigslist. Yep. Oh, Work long hours, not into single bars and clubs, so very limited opportunity to get out and meet people. If there are any real women on Craigslist really trying to meet someone real, then text me at this number again. How real? Uh, very real. Any real. Okay. Uh, for your peace of mind and safety, we'll provide info to verify my identity. In parentheses, employee, comma, pastor, comma, etc. The uh, fuck? P.S. I have no kids, so if you have one or two kids, that would be fine. But if I had my own kids, <laughs> no God way. help you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just a lonely dude who fallen for all the bad things oh man man. because he's gonna end up in a bathtub full of ice with no kidneys (laughs) for verification for For verification we need your kidneys dog (laughs) are you really a human well you're less of one now enjoy these new scars because we took them we took them away (laughs) hope you like dialysis um let's get a recap of that first one uh, I'm so smooth right now, I can't remember the first one. <laughs> so smooth. Uh, the first one was a guy who wants to go Bigfoot hunting <laughs> with oh, yeah. a lady, or maybe, like, spanky spank times. I think these guys are going to get along. They'll get along, because uh, my guy doesn't sound at all picky. No. Like, anything that comes along. Yeah. Probably. Like, like I can imagine this starting as, like, a toward love affair, and then and then ending up in just a real solid... Because they Friendship. find Bigfoot. Because they find Bigfoot. And they Bigfoot. bond oh, yeah. over it. Yeah. Well, yeah, because, like, I mean, like, Jimmy's guy would totally, like, be like, yeah, let's go. Like, he would believe in Bigfoot. Yeah, he would. Totally My would. guy would shoot Bigfoot, though. Why? Oh, you think? Because yeah. he's a crime against God? Yeah, it's sin to be a Bigfoot. Oh. <laughs> I don't know Shit, if you guys I forgot about that. that part of the Bible. Sinfully <laughs> Bigfoot. It's in, uh, it's in Corinthians. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you throwing around Bible. Throwing around a section of the Bible. Yeah. The devil created Bigfoot just to fuck with people. Just and I'll make him constantly blurry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the devil. Times. Man, that was a Mitch Hedberg bit, right? He's like, I don't think people's cameras are bad. Bigfoot's just blurry. He's a regular blurry dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm a comedic stealer man. Um, it's a good, I mean... It's a good bit. He said a lot of things. He did say a lot of things. Um, no, I think these guys are going to get along real good. And if it doesn't end in romance, then it'll end in a real solid friendship. Forever. He's like, no, Bigfoot is real. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Yeah, he is. Let's go find him. Hopefully he doesn't shit talk us. Ooh, the Lord doesn't like that language. (laughs) Maybe even a sexy three-way, huh? Ooh, hey. What if Bigfoot's into that fucking whips and chains shit, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Getting fucking spit roasted by Bigfoot. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) That was decidedly oh. not smooth. Oh, man. That was rough. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Mm. Uh, kids, I'll, ask your parents. I'll bet, uh, you, I'll bet you that's a porno, though, right? I'll bet you that's... roasted by Bigfoot? I'll bet you can find that movie. If, if it's not a porn movie, it's probably a Chuck Tingle novel. I don't know who Chuck Tingle is. It's a great author. Look great him author. up. Yeah. I feel like I've heard a lot of people talking about Chuck Tingle, but I also don't know who he is. He just... He's famous for, like, doing a lot of, like... It's like... It's all like it's sort of like it's vaguely homoerotic uh, writing, um, but it's always really like weird things, fucking weird things like dinosaur. I I got fucked in the ass by dinosaur Jesus. Oh. Uh, he was like he was he was like uh, nominated for a Hugo by men's rights activists oh. because like they wanted to hedge out all of the women. Oh. Um, and Chuck Tingle is like he's you know like, he's like you know he's a humorist. He's not like a men's right, rights activist. So like he like um, nominated um, Zoe Quinn. Uh, f- who like from Gamergate to like mm-hmm. accept the award for him if yeah. he won? Yeah. Um, and he also like wrote um, a story for it. Um, uh, f- I was fucked in the ass by my own Hugo. And, um, <laughs> I think he makes all the covers for these too, and they're great. They're, good. they're hilarious. Did he good. win it? Do you know? I don't believe he did. That's good. I guess that's good. Yeah. It but would. I mean, he's for, the, cool... for the part for the for the sadness that would have come packaged with it. He's he's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. He's one of the good ones. So our next Would You Rather comes from us from one Dale in Saskatoon. Dale asks, <laughs> Would you rather live with InSync as roommates or Backstreet Boys as roommates? Hmm. And both of these bands when they were in their prime. Oh, okay, cool. Because like, whether they could make the rent or not was like an important consideration for me. Because these days, you don't know if all of them could make the rent? Well, I mean, like, the one that JT had... JT could. Yeah, JT totally could. Yeah. 
so that's like point in favor of in sync yeah totally but that's not an issue so yeah um guy i don't know yeah 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 this, could, um, this question just sounds familiar <laughs> does it well like we did bit. Mary fuck kill we did Mary fuck think, kill with, like yeah maybe I'm just confused I'll I think you're getting out. confused I feel like maybe you ran this one by me maybe once I'll cut it out it's fine <clears throat> cut it out I'm uh, Dave Coulier Dave Coulier R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> the next five minutes is just Dave Coulier <laughs> a good a good uh, triple would have been in sync backstreet boys or sugar ray <laughs> oh <laughs> interesting oh wait sugar ray he's not for some really reason i thought smash level. mouth he's not really on the same level i think no it'd be like 98 degrees okay yeah, okay. That's the, that's the... okay then a, a triple for uh um would be smash mouth sugar ray and uh bare naked ooh. ladies yeah there we go oh, that's perfect oh, that's perfect bare naked ladies are good though Hey, now you're an Altadar. <laughs> Game on. Go play. Um, Agree to disagree on the side of your mouth. That was pretty smooth. Thank you. Way to smooth it out. Yeah. You got spit roaster over here, and then you're smoothing it up. You're just covered in uh, cocoa butter. Yeah. Thank and you. it's floating on top of the the water. Anytime, anytime I think of smooth, there was a, there was an SNL skit where fucking Horatio Sands was playing. Some actor as a TV judge, but every time they cut to him, he was just singing about cocoa butter. And like at one point, it like slipped out of his hands, and the whole scene just degraded into laughter. And that's all she wrote. He was just cocoa butter. That's that's really funny, Jimmy. Thanks for telling us about that. Yeah, man, I miss Horatio Sands as a human. He's still alive. Yeah, he's still alive. Miss him. He does podcasts. Does he really? Yeah, he's got a pot. Like yeah. The hooray, po- hooray cast or something. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Um, it's okay. Get it. Um, <laughs> it's all right. Go out to your <laughs> podcast store and buy it. Yeah. Your local podcast. Don't listen to this crap podcast. <laughs> listen to Horatio <laughs> Sands. <laughs> oh, God, right, man. We um, did a podcast just about other podcasts. That, that probably Meta. exists. That probably exists, though. Hey, shut up. I just can't <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. Don't take it to the patent office there, mm-hmm. Kreskin. Yeah. Maybe hold off. So. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. What, what about the real question? Um. Again, like, I'm not familiar with their music, really. Yeah. You know? This is like that Mary Fuck Kill all over maybe again. Maybe that's for the best. Yeah. Because maybe you're, you don't want to be Well, okay, here's a the thing. fan. Here's the thing, too, though, right? Because, like, they're at the height of their, their prime yeah. in the question, but they're going to have a trajectory even so, right? Right. So, like, the Backstreet Boys are going to, like, fade into, like, oblivion. Yeah. Like basically like um and in sync is more or less most of them are gonna fade to oblivion. Um like fucking Joy Fatone will be on uh, one or two like one at least good episode of Robot Chicken and <laughs> basically nothing. And then baby back ribs. Uh yeah, of course. Uh ne- le- never forget. Never forget. Never forgive. Um and then like JT is like fucking boom boom forever. Kaboom. Um, so so yeah so like I mean I guess that's the, the, that's a question too is like do you want to have roommates who will eventually like fade into obscurity and like fucking probably won't be able to cover your rent you know um, and probably bitter too because well, Lord in knows like I would ten be ten years D- yeah still you gotta think big picture day you don't okay. think they yeah yeah they, could, did like, they buy cause... golden yachts like are they all broke because like I mean like you, golden you're gonna... yachts it's the history... most expensive thing I can think of if history has taught me anything you tend to have roommates for tens and tens of years tens upon tens, tens of upon years. tens of years um yeah I'm in a two decade relationship with my roommate right now yeah. we've been it's getting pretty for... serious it's getting pretty serious it's been 20 30 years give or take 10 oh, years that's romantic it is <laughs> hey you have relationships with everybody it's not just like Romantic love. Sure, Inter- if you're a interpersonal. Whoa, bro! <sighs> that was not smooth. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Um, I feel de smoothed. <laughs> Just kidding. Ruffled. I feel very ruffled. I'm sex positive. Yay. Yeah, fuck whoever you want. It's cool. Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, Except dirty, dirty Bigfoots. <laughs> They're a sin against God. So. A sin against God. I mean, Do you no want to go to hell? Yeah. You'd have then to get like ahead. fast track. Get your get yourself inside a big. You don't you'd even have, have to wait get, to die. You'd have to get like recircumcised to like re re sanctify your wing long. Wow. Yeah, it's that bad. It's that a bad. further circumcision. Wait, is that real? No. Yeah. 
No. Yeah. You're, you said yeah with the biggest fucking shit eating grin. Like, yeah, totally. It's totally real. <laughs> Mischievous little scamp. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I think, honestly, I feel like Backstreet Boys would be more real of people. Uh, maybe more humbled? Yeah, a little more humbled. Mm. I think for me it comes down to... Uh, I want to say that the Backstreet Boys had... And I could be misremembering, but I want to say they had way more dance moves. Oh. So, uh, that'd be kind of annoying if they're just up at all hours <laughs> practicing their fucking choreography. Yeah. In in the house apartment that we share. <laughs> the uh, giant um, house apartment. <clears throat> the real world house that we yeah. live in. Because so many people have I'm to I'm like, live it's 3 a.m. Stop, stop it. Dancing. Stop stop breaking. I know you're a millionaire. I know you. you're back, all right? Stop, all right. Stop popping and locking, man. So probably in sync, plus JT's a, a, a silly guy. Yeah, he's fun. Who do you think, which which group do you think would spend less time at the apartment? Like, who'd be more out on the town more, maybe? Honestly, Backstreet Boys, probably. Back, yeah, okay. Because they're you... out there trying to, like, talk it up. They're trying to, like, you know, get... They're on They're on the back streets. They are on yeah. the back streets. Yeah, Backstreet is back. Those boys they're, are. They're back over there. All right? <laughs> all right. All right. All righty then. Let's count uh, how many times we've said all right in this episode. All right. A one. A two. A two. <laughs> Crunch. A three. Um, and we ate the podcast. And then we... <laughs> <laughs> nummy, nummy podcast in my belly. I've got a cavity. Um. <laughs> so, yeah. I think for I me, see back, Backstreet Boys for me. I say Backstreet Boys for me too, because like Lord knows they're probably gonna like again trajectory. They're yeah. gonna lose all their money, and then I'll like they'll probably have to move out, and I can have the apartment to myself. Yeah, because like I like to live alone, because I'm gonna die alone, and I might as well enjoy the bitterness alone. Alone, la 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 la. You know, Brian, I really enjoy these moments of the podcast where the clouds part and the light <laughs> shines down upon you, and you just show us your real self there for a second. <laughs> It's probably my favorite. That's so uh, me. sync. Jimmy Shoes. In-sync. Jimmy Shoes. He, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy Shoes. You know what joke I never got sick of? The joke of Jimmy Shoes being a shoe brand. That's the joke. It's a joke. Is it a joke? Yeah. No. The sa- It's the same caliber of joke as uh, Jimmy Neutron being a, a television program. And people saying mm. that to you? Yeah. It's like, oh, your name's Jimmy. Jimmy Neutron. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yes. You did it. Well, You've won the game. Now, not to be a one-upper here, but <laughs> Dane Cook. I, yeah, forever. Like, Jimmy Choo's and Jimmy Neutron I guess he, I guess Dane the Cook's wayside. the only, the only famous Dane. That's the only one. That I can think of, anyway. Except for you. The only... Internet fucking wavelengths. I, the only, like, the only play on words for my name that I remember sticking was actually Brian... Warlock, um, just you know, FYI. instead of your real last name, my real last, which is B, which, which is <laughs> which is Delta Obsidian Nightmare Echo, D O N, Delta e. Obsidian Echo Nightmare Night. Wait, that is different. Oh. <laughs> are you triggering someone right now? Are you are Maybe. you activating an asset? Okay, good. That's some Delta Green stuff right there. Mm. Mm. Okay, uh, super secret service <laughs> thing. Super secret squirrel. Oh my. So, uh, yeah, Dane Cook is the worst, and uh, my name is lame, way man. worse to be equated he's, he's to. He's had a weird, uh, a weird thing, because he's like, he's like actually, like, he's he's an alright comedian, but he's just sort of got, has gotten swept up in uh, all of this stuff, yeah. and then everyone just has this, like, really negative opinion of him. I don't know, I've well. seen his, re- not recent, but, like, Well, he's sort of, like, shows. morphed into yeah. this, this... He has become himself a joke. Icon, yeah. yeah. And then, like, the joke, because everyone used to fucking love it. It's like, it was like a, a the flip of a switch. Everyone, like, yeah. loved Dane Cook, and then, like... Everyone hated Dane Cook, except for, like, it was, like, the same sort of thing with, like, Family Guy. Like, Family Guy, oh, the, the first four seasons, like, oh, it's a fucking great show. Got canceled too soon, let's bring it back. And now we have the Family Guy of the day that nobody likes. Yeah. I mean, some people really like it, I guess, but, like, it is it is a joke. Yeah, yeah I, I don't, that's... It's a weird phenomenon, because Family Guy's not, like, that awful. Like, it's Maybe... it's not great, but... Oh, it's, I mean, there's some pretty nasty stuff, uh... man. I don't know. <laughs> Um, says the PJC cast. <laughs> that kind of wouldn't be on the pale for me. I yeah. don't know. Um, 
Yeah. So yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe we're all a little bit of hipster, you know. The same sort of thing. I mean, Nickelback's pretty bad, but it's it's I've more honestly Nickelback never is heard more a of Nickelback like song. Knowingly, knowingly, you probably have heard some of it. <laughs> maybe they they're just like the band that everyone like knows is bad. Yeah, yeah. and that's their reputation. <laughs> Touchdown of awful. Yeah. Hey and there, Jimmy. You got us. Uh... I do, and I don't even need to look at my notes. Oh, I got it in whoa. my old little noggin. Wow. Oh. You, you ready? Your memory. You ready for this? Yeah. I wrote it down, but yeah. I remembered it too in case okay, I was wrong. Good. All right, Mary fuck kill. Are you ready for He's this delicious a section? Segment? I've got one question before you tell me it. Is it smooth? Well, it's as smooth as a burrito, a taco, and a quesadilla can get. Oh, I love it! <laughs> I so love Mary it. fuck kill, a burrito, a burrito, a taco, a taco. or a quesadilla? A oh quesadilla. boy. Yay. Look at how excited you are, Brian. <laughs> Yay for questions. We gotta pump you up with ibuprofen before the show more often. Uh, <laughs> it's been a long week. It's been a long week. Man, I want this been question makes week, me too been hungry. A long week. Yeah. I mean the I have... the words taco and burrito trigger you in the most hungry way. Jimmy. I already I've... had I had a burrito for breakfast already. Uh, it triggers for me a rhyme my little sister used to say when we were kids. Yeah. Taco, burrito, what you got in that Speedo? That's taco, <laughs> burrito, what you got in that Speedo? I've never heard That's that That's adorable. Before. Yeah. Yeah. Great! Th- there's no answer. That's one um, of those fucking kid things that just doesn't make sense. It yeah. does. It's vagina or penis. Like, they... What? <laughs> I didn't get... Uh, I, I didn't get the vagina half, actually. That makes a lot of... You know, we've come full circle. It's taco or burrito. Those. That's a... Oh. Yeah, yeah. Lady Okay, parts that does parts. make sense. It makes a lot of sense, yeah. Like you're welcome. So we got an early vote for fuck for me. <laughs> hmm. Um. Yeah, but no, Jimmy. Anytime Mexican food is brought up, mm-hmm. burritos or tacos, uh-huh. you instant. I don't think I've uh-huh. ever heard you not say, "Oh, now I'm hungry for tacos." I'm never or, not hungry for tacos yeah. and burritos. <laughs> Quesadillas are good too, but uh, but only if I can have all three. They're all oh. pretty good. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm of the opinion that pretty much anything is like a little bit tastier if you wrap it in a tortilla. Right. Yeah. Uh, hearkening back to episode blank where... <laughs> oh, where, yeah, like, yeah, eating like... Eating off of a... Poverty drove me to, like, include a tortilla <laughs> in pretty much everything I yeah. ate, regardless of what it was. Oatmeal, uh, churros, <laughs> uh, uh, spetzel. Yeah. Spetzel? Spetzel. Did you yeah. eat a lot of spetzel at that time of your life? You'd be surprised how much canned spetzel you can get. Find a grocery what outlet. Is Hold spetzel? on. What? I, it's German food. Great. What, what is Keep it? Keep going. It's German Keep food. Keep going, uh, Brian. It's Wurst and <laughs> Sauerkraut yeah. and Lederhosen. <laughs> you eat clothing. Are you a girl? Uh, I am unconvinced. Do you eat the can also? Ich habe ein kleinen Problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, um, so I think burritos are usually mushy and feel good. Uh, tacos are kind of crunchy. I, uh, there are soft tacos too, though. There are soft tacos, yeah. but I don't think I could wrap my dick around it. Mm. Or reverse of Isa. Are you, are you into more like gentle lovemaking or more of that rough stuff? I'd yeah. say rougher, if we're going to be honest. Go for that crunchy stuff, man. Go for the crunchy. Them shards yeah. all over. Ah. Shards <laughs> all over. Oh, feel feels so good. Driven deep into my pubis. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my plumbus. Shard. I'm too smooth for this episode right now. <laughs> <laughs> you picked the wrong podcast, mates, my friend. Yes. Uh, that is very apparent. Um, ooh, ooh. Ooh. No, I think I would um, marry the burrito, fuck the taco, and kill the quesadilla. No. Quesadillas are a snack food for me. They're not a main course. Yeah. Like, they're um, not, they can have meats and stuff in yeah, them. Yeah, but not the ones that I think about in my head. When I think quesadilla, I think of straight up cheddar cheese and a flour tortilla. Cheese. That's still fuckable, though. I mean, I mean like, it's, it's kind of a delicious. Quick, a snack. But if I've got a burrito sitting next to it, you know I'm going for that burrito. And then tacos are great in, like, single servings. But, like, if I'm going to be committed to my life, I'm going to commit to that burrito. Yeah. You know? I can't fault that reasoning. Thank you. Yeah. I feel that burritos are more dependable. Tacos are more, like, (laughs) 
More pop. fly by night? Yeah, fly by night. Like, like yeah. you go to a taco truck. Oh, like, oh, I'm hungry now. I'll have a taco now. <laughs> I have a taco now. I eat the taco now. <laughs> Don't it get, was it was cheap and I need several. Don't right. get me started on them slutty tacos. Okay. Uh uh uh. I ain't no hollaback snacker. <laughs> uh, shit is bananas. Um, walking by them taco trucks, never gonna get it, never gonna get it, but never like, gonna get it. Never. You think about like, man, I need to go get a burrito instead of just like, oh, what's convenient? A Bur- taco. Burritos meal for sure. Right. Yeah. And tacos. A little more uh, slapdash. Well, that's, that's me, a thing too. Like tacos feel hungry. more like a, like a. It feels silly to say, but they feel more like a luxury item than a burrito. Really? I don't. Well, because here's I, the thing. Yeah, I don't you get, get it. two. You know, at a normal like a taco truck, they're small and it's they're like, cheap. It's like a three way. Because <laughs> you got you gotta have two. Got it. Yeah, two. you gotta have gotta at least have a couple, Double probably. Up. Maybe even three. And if you get two or three, oh. that's probably about the same price. But nowhere near the same amount of food yeah. and amazingness that a burrito can provide. Yeah. Long term. Long term. Yeah, I don't know. So vote, Jimmy. I'm voting for... I'm marrying a burrito for that long term yeah. uh, uh, stability. And then? But I'm fucking the quesadilla. Oh! Because it's a... It's a... It's Mixing a it up. Gooey, cheesy, and saucy... Sometimes chicken, sometimes steak, sometimes sour cream. Yeah, never can tell. Situation full of surprises. Uh, I gotta kill a taco. I hate to do it. Wow. Hmm. I hate to do it. Coming, coming out of nowhere. Jimmy kills a taco. Out of I mean, you've waxed headlines poet- say you've waxed poetically to me about tacos on end. Yeah, but they're basically like, the ones that I make sense. are just white people tacos, which are yeah. basically just burritos. Anyway. So. They're- <laughs> mm. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm, I'm, I actually, Dane gave my answer already. Um, yeah, I'm going to marry a burrito because I love burritos. Mm. I love them so much. They're the best. They are. They're the best food delivery system. Like, I mean, you can have like Korean style burritos. Yeah. You have Indian naan rolls, which is Do basically it. surprise plot twist. They're burritos basically. Um, <laughs> and it's, just, it's great. It's like, it's like all terrain food delivery system into your yeah. fucking, you know, mouth. mouth. Um, so yeah, yeah, gotta marry that. Gotta, it's lasting appeal. Um, I will fuck a taco because of the shape. Um, and yeah. I'm glad just, I suggested it. Fucking, yeah. I mean, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Um, and yeah, I'll just murder a quesadilla because it's just not the other two. It is not the other it's two. not enough. I know, you know, sorry. It's like, it's gotta be like, it's like a, you know, it's got the way it's gotta be. It's like, it's like Miller's Crossing, you know, <laughs> I gotta take you out to, to the woods and I gotta put one in the back of your head. I thought that was old Yeller. Both. There was Old Yeller in Miller's Crossing. Old Cheddar. Look into your heart. Look into your heart. What is going on? You just turned into like a... You guys haven't seen Miller's Crossing, have you? You fucking Philistines. Yeah. (laughs) It's only one of the best Coen Brothers films of all time. Oh, it's a Coen Brother? Really? Yeah. Oh. It's great. I'm missing out. Yeah. Um, Our last Would You Rather (laughs) comes from one Edmund in Bellevue. And Edmund asks... Would you rather never remember who you are or never remember who your friends are? Ah. Always a stranger to yourself or surrounded by (laughs) strangers yourself? Indeed. Man, this is the movie Memento. It kind of is. Kind of. But only half of it is Memento. Well, yeah, because he knows who he is, kind of. Yeah. And he doesn't have any friends. Yeah. (laughs) Lenny! Didn't care for that movie. I love it. No? No. Nah. Just because it was, it was too many, like, plot holes? It's depressing as hell. It is very depressing. Yeah. You don't dig that, though? No. Nah. Okay. The ray of light is shining down on Brian. Mm. Here, he, here it it's is. It's got two-thirds of the band The Matrix in that well, movie, though. Like, <laughs> the, <laughs> not like this. The, I mean, the world, the world is terrible. The world is terrible already. You yeah. Know? You don't need to shovel that in your brain. Yeah. I mean, unless... Except for when you do. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Surrounded by strangers. Stranger yourself. Well, it kind of comes down to, like, who your friends are. Like, are your friends the, the patient types who will, like, be like, no, you're Dane, and you're our friend. Or are they the kind to be like, ah, this fuck again. Okay, uh, yeah, you can hang out. You should hang out with us because we know you. <laughs> I don't trust you people. It's kind of... <laughs> 
kind of an endless mystery in either case, too. Like, you've got an unknown you can never know. Yeah. In both cases. That's it's hellish. <laughs> yeah. It is. I I would rather not know myself. Because I, think, I feel I like personality is... What's that? I think that's got to be the way. Because I think personality is innate. And even if you don't remember the events of your life, I think you are who you are. And mm. that that's what your friends will like and will continue being your friends. Now, if you don't remember who any of your friends are, well, that's, well. See, I, I hold to a very different philosophy. Um, yeah. I, I think that at, at heart, we're tabula rasa. Um, like, a lot of what our personality is is more like, I don't know, ancillary things, environmental things. like Nature versus nurture. Yes, exactly. Well, no, nurture versus nature. Right, well... well. What's the difference? Yeah, like nurture. I'm I'm on the nurture. Yeah, you are a nurture. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, like I I, I I and I think the psychology actually backs me up on this. Is oh, that, like, does at, it? At first, like basically, brainy Brian going on we've over got, here. We've got some like you know physiological like tendencies, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that we're much more shaped by our, our environments. Okay. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I I think I might. I might more lean towards not remembering your friends. Yeah, because like otherwise you're just like you're nobody. What if your friends never contact you? Well, you don't really know who your friends are, do you? Yeah, so you're hideously lonely for your entire life. Well, not necessarily. You're surrounded by strangers. Strangers can be friendly. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, that is true. But it, it's hellish either way. It's hellish either way. Yeah. Like, I think that the thing you can say in favor of knowing your friends is that, like, at the, I mean, like, I don't know. Like, you're, you're, hopefully they're, they're gentle with you. Oh, I'm, I'm sure my friends would be gentle with me. Right, guys? Uh, Hey, shut up, Jimmy. I might draw a mustache on you. But, right on top of my mustache? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, like, part of, isn't part of, Isn't part of how you judge yourself also, like, your relationships with other people? Like, can you... If you remember who your friends are... I mean, like, can't... I don't know. God. Such a Whoa. puzzler. Whoa. It's a toughie. Toughie maluffy. Yeah. What do you think, Jim? It's rough. It's probably... I probably just want to forget myself, because then, like... I feel like I'd still have fun. If, if all my friends... If I didn't remember who they were... Then every moment somebody was like, Hey, what's up? I'd be like, Who the fuck are you? And I'd... I box their ears and then I walk away. You are uh, one to, to box just ears. Violently attack uh, people. Wantonly. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'd, I'd just constantly just be like, what's going on all the time with, yeah. with these people? It'd be very uncertain. Yeah. Kind of a time. It'd be uncertain not knowing yourself, but I feel like. I don't know. I trust you guys you, you, to you like. S- you surround keep... yourself with friends and family, right? If you have such amnesia about yourself, will you remember what you do with your friends? Who cares? They'll do those things with you. I don't know. I think maybe I'm just control freak enough that I want the memory myself. There you go. Well, that's fine. Yeah. In our I RPG like games, like a... you are the DM, so I don't trust either of you guys. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'll uh, make sure to drive you home later. So. That's why I have a loaded derringer on me at all times. Oh, good. <laughs> I have a volcanic. That means I can bang as many times as I want. Hey, oh, poor oh, game yeah. jokes. Poor game jokes. I love that game, though. It's a good game. Uh, so you would forget yourself. Yeah. I would forget myself. And Every I could Brian, watch. the heartless cad he is, would forget his friends. I'm a monster! <laughs> and you lose, sir! Yay! Good day, sir! Good day. I didn't it. I didn't it. Um, so that's uh, the Proud Jacuzzi crew for for this week. Uh, thank you all for joining us here in the smooth, smooth tub of uh, Anytown, so, USA here on these a, balmy autumn evenings. This is a short one. A little bit short. <laughs> uh, un poquito. Right. Um... If you got any would you rathers, we'd love to hear about them. Uh, send them in to the PJCCast at gmail.com. Uh, you can also tweet us at the PJCCast. Uh, and then we're on that Facebook. Facebook. Oh, yeah. Facebook. A lot of Facebook. Too many faces, not enough. Brand books. identity SEO. There you go. What? Gorilla marketing. Ooh, aha. Viruses. What? 
hexadecimal megabyte. Give us um, virus. Yeah. So yeah, send us there. Like us there. Review us on iTunes. Uh -huh, send uh -huh. send us all the things. Give us all your love. Uh -huh. We need it. Uh -huh. Five need stars, it. unless you don't really feel that way. Children um, at home, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Keep PJC really alive. Believe, if you really believe. If you really believe. And just you know, just in case, because uh, I think this is the first episode in a while this has happened. Uh, Bad Dragon. There, we said it. Once, at least once. We we didn't say it all this episode. I, I will remember you. Will, will you remember me? me? Just and let your dildo pass you by. In the butthole. Baddragon.com So, uh, thanks everyone. Have a good night. And get home safe. Under your bee hole, you only get one. <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> if you're unlucky, then there's one in your elbow. Yeah. Ah! It's like you chose poorly on some other would you rather. Uh <laughs>